that was fun. My phone just decided to let me know that it had updated and it stopped recording the video that it was in the middle of recording. And, uh, you know, I just do these quickly on my phone. I don't edit them at all. So now I got to start over. Thanks, phone. Well, to recap, um, I tend to get on these kicks where I uh, will get interested in a subject and then I'll just look up a bunch of videos about that subject. Um, and lately it's been about disabled or differently abled creators. And uh, as far as disabled versus differently abled, um, it depends on who you ask. Like I just did the video with the disabled sex worker and homeless advocate. And I asked her like, do you prefer disabled or differently able? And she's like, definitely disabled. So, but then other ones say differently, but you know, anyway, um, previously a couple of years ago, I watched a bunch of videos by Molly something. I can't remember her name. If you, uh, if you really want to know, um, you could at me at topless topics on Instagram or Twitter. Actually, Twitter's better. I don't check my DMs on Instagram because it's always just weird perverts. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, I watched a bunch of her videos. Um, she is uh, mostly blind and she does videos about like what life's like as a blind person, um, proper etiquette, especially like she has this one video where she has her seeing eye dog and she's going around the mall and she's like showing how she navigates like stairs and improper behavior. You're not supposed to pet um, seeing eye dogs because it's distracting and, you know, can confuse their owner and stuff like that. But anyway, I was watching a bunch of her videos. Um, I got on her, I, I found out about her when, uh, 2020 before they canceled VidCon because of COVID, uh, I was going through the list of featured creators and, um, trying out each channel. And most of them, I was like, not for me. Cause I just don't like the, Hey guys, what's up? Kind of creator, which is fine if you do, just not, just not for my, not for my taste. Anyway, so, you know, I was watching some of her videos, but then a few weeks ago, I got on a kick of looking up, uh, deaf people, deaf people, mute people, etc. um, showing off, you know, what their life is like and some signing tutorials and stuff like that. Um, I got on this subject because I was talking to my five-year-old and I was trying to explain the concept of sign language like, you know, it's actual language. <laughs> like it's, it's, you know, it's entirely, well, it's not entirely visual. That's actually something I kind of learned. Um, but anyway, and so I started looking up and my stomach is yelling at me because I haven't had breakfast yet. I always forget to have breakfast until like noon. I don't know why. Um, and then I, you know, and then I eat throughout the day. So I'm, it's, <laughs> it's not, it's not healthy. Anyway, um, I, uh, I was looking at videos and I went from more like tutorial videos to more like day in the life of videos. And I got into this, uh, this one channel that I'm mildly obsessed with right now, um, called sign duo. And it's this absolutely adorable couple. Um, I think they're, they're in LA and the, the, the girl is, uh, I mean, she can, she can hear and speak, but she started dating the guy like, eight years ago or something like that. And she, she learned sign language to, to talk to him more effectively. And I mean, I think that's, that's adorable. That that's, you know, cool. Um, for the most part in the, the later videos, she's super fluent, but in the early videos, she'll like stop to think of something. And I like, I want to mimic it, but I know that that's rude. <laughs> so I'm trying not to, um, like, they, they, you know, some of their videos are more informative. Like one of his viral videos is him going through a drive through and like the people in the drive through think he's pretending to be deaf. It's like, why would they, what, if you think that's a prank, like, how is that funny? I don't know. Um, and then there's another video where they went back a year later and it was actually like a lot improved. So, you know, that video going viral, I guess the, the people that work at the restaurant, the, the CEO or something was like, shit, <laughs> damage control. Anyway, um, or like there's another one that's like stuff or do's and don'ts when, do, when interacting with a deaf person and stuff like that. And that's the one where, you know, he said, and I mean, and he had said, you know, it's different per person, but for him, um, you don't, uh, you know, don't like mimic trying to sound, you know, trying to look like you're doing sign language. Cause it's like, you know, I can understand it's like another language, you know, freaking Tom Cruise's infamous, was it Tom Cruise or Rosie? O'Donnell? I can't remember what it was, but anyway, some, some celebrity was on 
uh, show. No, okay, I think I remember the situation. So Rosie O'Donnell was one of the hosts, and they had Tom Cruise on as a guest. And this was obviously like a decade ago. And they were talking about like him being a big star even in China. And so she's like, ching chong chong ching chong Tom Cruise. And she went viral for being, you know, for, for, for being seen as racist for thinking that like, that's what Chinese sounds like. And that is a whole subject. I'm not even, I, I was about to spin off into a whole thing and I, I just want to, you know, kind of make a little point and then go eat some breakfast because my stomach is eating itself. Um, anyway, so, so I really like these videos. Um, they're informative. Um, and they're also just like, they're sweet. I've never really been big on like family vloggers and stuff where it's just like, this is a day in our life. One, because it tends to be, it's either mundane shit that I go through in my own life. So it's like, why would I want to watch someone else go through it? Or it's very, uh, flexing, I think is the, is the term where it's like, look how rich I am. And then it's just like, I'm just like, I guess jealous, but at the same time, they tend to be douchebags. <laughs> and so it's like, if, if having that much money made me into a douchebag, I, I, I would rather not be a douchebag. I mean, I'm probably still a douchebag. I'm just a teenager dirtbag, dirt baby. Anyway, by the way, my throat is still a little bit raw um, because my son brought home COVID um, over the weekend. And so we've been dealing with that all week. Um, hasn't been too bad. It's just basically been like a cold for me because we're vaccinated. Get your vax or it's going to suck because I had COVID in February 2020 and it fucking lasted all year. So yeah, get fast. Anyway, another, another tangent. So back to Sindu. <laughs> um, they also have a dog that they adopt in one of the videos that is actually deaf also. And so it's like, how do they train a deaf dog and stuff like that? But yeah, I just really like the channel because they're adorable watching together. They're nice and they're respectful to each other, which is something you don't see, I think, in a lot of, you know, reality TV vlogger type thing where it's all like you know, the, the drama of them fighting and, oh, they cheated and, you know, yelling at their kids and stuff like that. So they're not like that as I do. They're very, they're very sweet with each other. And I just, I don't know. I really like it. So, oh, the other thing I was going to, I was going to talk a little bit about that I think is kind of cool is I noticed that a lot of videos will include subtitles now automatically, like baked into the video. And sometimes they make it like fancy with, you know, text effects and stuff, especially on like news, news pieces and stuff. And I love that they're making it more accessible for people that can't hear. Um, I also love it because a lot of times I'll be, you know, like I, I tend to go to bed later than my husband because I only have like an hour or two after the kids go to bed to, to, to do whatever. And I can't really watch stuff with sound on it because even if I use headphones, um, it will still be loud enough that it'll wake up and annoy him. So having the subtitles lets me um, see the video and understand the video without having to have the sound on. Um, I do think it's funny when you put on auto-generated captions and they've definitely improved what they used to be, but there's still just random words where I'm like, oh, that's what they're trying to say. <laughs> um it's funny, when I was a kid, my mom got this program called Dragon Naturally Speaking, and it was supposed to be, you could talk into it, and then it would take your voice and, and, and translate, not translate it, but you know, transcode it, there we go. And it was always so bad, it just, it was like a game to me to see how bad it was, so that's kind of funny. Anyway, yeah, um, basically, I just, I, I think it's, I'm so conflicted with YouTube, because, you know, they're, they're so profiting off everyone no matter how terrible you are and yet my content gets banned thanks to haters um not very not very fair but at the same time it's such a resource it's such a well it's an even playing field in that you can find very obscure subjects and you do have to have some media literacy to know if you're you're listening to bullshit or not but for something like this where it's you know, it's an insight into what life is like for, for deaf people or whatever. It's very valuable. There's also, well, again, you know, like I, I watch a lot of like snake care videos, which by the way, my snakes still won't eat. I'm not going to go into that fucking asshole snake. Um, but again, you do have to be careful with who you're listening to advice for, because there's channels on there that will give you advice. And then there's other channels, <laughs> excuse me, 
um, that talk about those channels and say, don't follow that advice. That's terrible advice. There's also a whole culture of, of pet hoarders on YouTube. It just, yeah, a lot of, a lot of drama. Um, and you know, it's just regular people and this is spinning off into a different subject. Basically just be careful what you consider, uh, an authority, um, on advice on, on just, you know, baseless YouTube videos or whatever, because they might say that they're a do doctor or whatever, and they could very well be lying. So just be careful. Anyway, yeah. So go watch, go watch Sign Duo. Um, or if there's any other um, disabled creators or you know neuroatypical, yeah, neuroatypical creators or anything like that, where it's just like this is what their life is like. Um, let me know because um, I, I like to check them out. Um, there's a show on Netflix that I still really like. It's called Love on the Spectrum. And it's about autistic people trying to find, or people with autism, trying to find, you know, people to date and stuff. And it, it's, a, again, it's like a sweet show. Like, they're respectful. They're not, you know, mocking them or anything. And so I think it's a really sweet show. But, yeah. As far as watching, quote-unquote, reality TV, like, that's the only kind of show that I really like is when they're respectful and they're not mocking the people and, you know, obviously, like, hopefully genuine. I understand that reality TV is always going to, you know, have an editing bent because it's drama, more exciting. But I just, yeah, the ones where it's like attractive, dumb people having sex with each other. Like, it just, whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go eat. Um, I actually did a video earlier this week talking about how my son brought home, home COVID and stuff like that, but I filmed it on my actual camera. So the file is like huge and I was trying to upload it. And after like four hours, it still wasn't uploaded. So I was like, never mind. It was a very, you know, Link and Aiden kept interrupting me anyway. So it was a, it was a really all over the place video. Okay. I'm going to go eat some breakfast. Be careful what videos you, you go to for, uh, for information and, um, look up some videos by, by differently abled people so that you can, get a little little glimpse of what their life is like and i think it's interesting and um maybe you know teaches compassion so all right bye